All right, Edward Pivos with M Live, and I'm here with one of the biggest recording artists, I don't know, in music history. Huge actor as well. This is Meatloaf, Motor City Comic Con. Welcome back to Michigan. You probably had some amazing times here, amazing concerts over the years, right? Well, my entire career started in Michigan. Do tell. And I. I had no idea what I was going to do in life. My mother passed away. I was completely, I pulled myself out of college my junior year, completely, I went out to LA, I was homeless, had no idea what I was doing. Uh, wandered into some youth center, set up with a band and sing a song, next thing you know, I got three guys that want me to be in a band, they take me down to a studio. They go next door, they find a drummer in a drum in a guitar store, come back, I sing one note, the studio blows up. Seriously, because they turned it up too loud and it blew the fuse. Well, within the first two weeks of me being in the business, and I wasn't in the business, I got three recording contracts. And I, I went to a guy, he said, no. so that band that I was with eventually wound up here in Michigan. Hmm. And lived in a house in Freeland, Michigan for a year yeah. and played in the Grandy Ballroom 80 times and opened for everybody that you can imagine except the Beatles, the Stones, and the Jefferson Airplane. You name it, we opened for them. Um, and then I went back and wound up getting cast in hair and they brought me back to Detroit. I did here and then I wound up on Broadway. and. That's, that's, his history. that's it. And then just kind of Shakespeare's and Broadway shows and improv shows. And and then Jim Steinman and I met. And then I went out on the road and against all odds made better the hell happen. I had so many people that hated me. It was ridiculous. <laughs> well, we all love you and we well, love that music. I mean, so, people, But back then, the, sure. The, the, the industry didn't yeah. like me, but the people liked me. And that's who counts, not the industry people. I could, I could tell you more stories, but we don't have time. That's all right. That was a great story. I never knew that. Michigan, just a big part of his early career. That's it. That's where it started. That's incredible. That is exactly where it started. And I signed my first recording contract, wound up with Motown. And it was a duet with a girl named Stoney, who's now Sean Murphy, who's in the Blues Hall of Fame. And uh, we can continue on. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Well, anyway, there you go. I, I don't even know where to go from that. That's just well, an unexpected you know story. That's do? incredible. You do this. You do this. Here, let's go here. I have a couple hey, of questions, but we're good. Go we're ahead, good. Go yeah, ahead. go ahead. What's your question? Well, I wanted to know, this is really stupid, but Jake the Snake Roberts doesn't like snakes. Do you like meatloaf? I mean, do you enjoy like a good oh, dinner I, uh, of meat? I'm just know. curious. There's a, uh, a grocery <laughs> chain a called question, Whole, but. Whole Foods, and sometimes they have a meatloaf that's okay. I don't, I don't sit around and beg for meatloaf. No, I don't. Never did. I've been called meat since I was like two weeks old. I didn't, we didn't sit around and go, well, foxy brown. No, no. Raccoon tail. No, that sucked. So, no. I've been called meat since I was about two weeks old, and the loaf came when I was about 12. Real quick, uh, last question, I guess. Uh, you know, you've been in things like, you've had a lot of roles, like in Fight Club, uh, Wayne's World, a lot of roles. Is there anything that sticks out that you're, you know, obviously besides, you know, Rocky Horror, huge. Anything that sticks out o over your, um, you know, long career, uh, you know, that you yes. really enjoy? Yes, yes. There's a movie called Hole in One, written by Arthur Miller, and uh, was on the set, who scared the hell out of me, and with Bill Macy and Laura Dern, and um, I played a really, uh, he was very racist. I mean, he was not, I don't, yeah, he was racist. And, but he was a really hard character to play. But that's one of my favorite roles. And the other one is, um, I forgot. Sorry, right, you've had a lot. Listen, if you look at your IMDb, IMDb uh, page, there's a lot of, lot of uh, great stuff there. I've so. done 70 films. <laughs> 70 films. There you go. Well, enjoy your time here at Motor City Comic Con. Thank you for your time with me. And, uh, yeah, I appreciate it. And Listen. I, I know, but, but, but not only 70 films, I was talking to a lady who came up 
and we were talking. She did all. I did all these horror, Outer Limits, the Twilight and so on. Oh yeah. Uh, Not a TV. Masters of Horror. I did all, but I did all these horror things, and I don't watch horror. <laughs> I don't like watching horror, and uh, that's anyway funny. But anyway, I'm at a, I'm at a Comic Con, so I got one question. I got one thing for all you guys. I love you. God bless you, and never, ever stop rocking.